Hi, I'm Malcolm, the developer of Wear Installer. Today, I want to show you a new and improved app which I've imaginatively called Wear Installer 2. Wear Installer 2 allows you to install apps from your Android phone directly to your Wear OS watch over Wi-Fi. This is useful for Wear OS apps which are for some reason not in the Google Play Store. To use Wear Installer 2, you'll need to enable developer settings on your watch, but that's pretty easy as we'll see shortly. So let me bring my phone into screen and start Wear Installer 2. You can see a screen here that ex explains exactly how to use the app. And we're going to start by enabling developer settings on the watch. So let me do that first. Go to settings, about watch, software, and tap on software version until we get the message developer mode turned on. Go back and developer options are there. And the first thing we need to do is to enable ADB debugging. That will enable the phone and the watch to communicate over Wi-Fi. So let's turn that on. Yes, I'm sure. And let's also make sure that debug over Wi-Fi is enabled and it is. Now we're going to need the IP address for the watch so that we can enter it in the Wear Installer 2 app. If I just go out of developer options and back in and look under debugger over Wi-Fi, I'll see the IP address there. I don't need the last four digits. Uh, so 192.168.1214 is the IP address for this watch. And if I bring my phone back in, that's the IP address that I need to enter down here. And as you can see, I've already done it. So if I just press done, then we're ready to, uh, to use the app. And we can use Wear Installer 2 to do some interesting stuff. So for example, uh, I know that a number of people use the Dexcom G6 app to monitor their blood glucose levels. There's a Dexcom watch face, which unfortunately isn't in the Play Store, but it is bundled with the Dexcom phone app. So let's use Wear Installer 2 to extract the watch face and install it onto my watch. And we can see Dexcom 6 here. And if I just tap, I get a prompt on my watch. Let me say, always allow. So the phone and the watch are now connected via ADB. And if I just press install. It's sending the APK file from the watch to from the phone to the watch and success the APK is installed on the watch. So let's just check that it is. If I go to my current watch face, long tap and here's the Dexcom watch face. It's telling me to check on my mobile device. In fact, you have to restart your watch and your phone and then the two will communicate. Um, but everything is successfully installed. Let me go back to my previous watch face. So that's an example of just extracting the watch component from the phone app and sending it to the watch and installing it there. Let me uh, restart. Now let's try something else. Uh, there's a cool app called Ada64, which gives lots of useful system information for Android devices. There's a watch version, but again, it's not in the Play Store. It is, however, bundled with the corresponding phone app. So let's install that to our, to our watch. So again, if I just tap on that, the watch is already connected, install, 
sending across from the phone to the watch. Should just take a few seconds. Success, APK installed on watch. So if I now scroll down, and there it is right at the bottom, gives me lots of interesting information about my, my watch. And so that's quite, uh, that's quite a cool app to have on your watch, I think. Now, suppose that we want to keep a version of that watch APK um, for future safekeeping. We can extract it uh, into the downloads folder on our what well, on our uh, phone. I'm sorry. So uh, again, if I instead of tapping on the app, if I long tap, it will extract the watch component and save it to the downloads folder on my phone. You can see the it's the where version as an APK file. That's now saved in my downloads folder in case I need it in the future. Now, once it's in the downloads folder, um, we can actually install it directly from there to the watch. So for example, um, uh, and there it is by the way, um, if, I, uh, if I look in the downloads folder, there's this app called Digital Clock Display, which is uh, an app that I wrote and uh, downloaded from my Freepop website. Digital Clock Delay allows you to read notifications on your Galaxy Watch 4 by delaying the annoying digital clock overlay. And we can install it from here uh, to the watch. So if I tap, it tells me that this, is, uh, this APK file is for Wear OS. Continue and install. It's sending it across from the downloads folder on my phone to the watch, success. And again, if I go back to my watch, here it is and it's taking me to accessibility and, and so on. But uh, that's all successfully uh, installed. So, Let's try something different now. Let me bring my phone back in, restart. Now, just out of curiosity, let's install a phone app, not intended for watches, onto our watch. Now, obviously there are some limitations here, but let's, let's try it anyway. Uh, so for example, I have this audio recorder app. It's a phone app, it's, it uh, is not designed for watches but we may be able to install it anyway. And let me tap on it. And it tells me where APK not found, tap again to install the phone version. So let's tap again. It's extracted the APK and let's install it. This might take a few seconds longer because being a phone app, it's a bit larger than um, most watch APKs, but that is installed on the watch. And let's see, and there it is at the bottom, and we can open it up. And it actually does work after a fashion. But as you can see, it's not really formatted for the um, for the watch screen size, but it does work. So that's an example of installing a phone app onto the watch. Now, we can also use Wear Installer 2 as a general purpose um, APK extractor. So if I go back to Audio Recorder, and again, I long tap on it, then I've saved it to the downloads directory. So actually I can use Wear Installer 2 to extract the APK for any of my installed phone apps and save them in the, in the downloads folder. 
So that's, uh, you sometimes see um, bespoke APK extractor apps. Uh, you don't really need them because uh, Where Installer 2 can do the same thing. Now, let's get a bit more advanced. The Samsung Galaxy Watch 4 doesn't have Google Assistant yet. So let's install the phone version of Google Assistant Go instead. Now we want version 2.8, not the, not the most, the more recent version from APK Mirror. And I downloaded it to my phone a few minutes ago and let's see if we can find it here. And, uh, and here it is actually. So let's install it to, uh, from the phone to the watch again. Now it's telling me that this APK file is not designed for Wear OS watch and may not work correctly um, on a watch. But let's continue to install it anyway and install. Again, this may take a few seconds because it's a relatively large file. So let's see how long it takes. Success installed APK on watch. So now let's, oh, actually we can see it here. So let's open it up and let's see what happens. Now, part of the pro is actually transcribing my uh, what I'm saying, but part of the problem is there's this. We need to accept the terms and conditions, and there's this blue banner here, which if we if we tap on it, actually we can't we can't get to the terms and conditions because the screen's not the right size. So what we can do is if I bring my phone back in here. We can use Wear Installer 2 to set to temporarily reset the um, the density, screen density of the watch, and that should enable us to accept the, the the terms and conditions that we need. So you'll see in the menu here, watch density 200. So that's going to make the font smaller. Let me just do that. And if I now you can see everything is much smaller. Let me go into Google Assistant Go, get started, and now I can actually accept the terms and conditions. Here are some pictures that match. Okay, now we need to go back and set the watch back to its regular size, reset watch density, Okay, so let's see if it works. Here's a result from the web. Remind me to buy milk tomorrow morning. Got it. I'll remind you tomorrow at 8 a.m. So that's quite cool, right? Until until we get the proper version of Google Assistant for the Samsung Watch 4, we've now got a workable uh, assistant that we just uh, used Wear Installer 2 to, to, uh, to sideload. So uh, that's pretty much it. Let's just finish. Uh, and it reminds me to turn off ADB debugging on the watch. That's important to do because otherwise we're going to run down our battery too quickly. That's done. And so uh, that's about it. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, that's it for now. Thanks for watching and see you soon.